Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at one of the uh, newer unique units, although it's not that new right now, uh, the Ghulam. It recently got nerfed actually last patch, it lost 10 HP, but I still think it's really cracked. You can take a look at the stats there at the bottom. It's a really strong unit. Basically the, the, the point of this unit is that it has a high pierce armor, it moves pretty fast like an Eagle Warrior does, and it also does pass through damage like a Scorpion. So if it hits a unit, it will also do damage to the unit standing behind it, which is really insane. So in mass, it's quite quite powerful. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a bunch of different scenarios here uh, up against Arblast, Paladin, uh, Eagle Warriors, Ten Cannoneer, and Champions. All these units are generic fully upgraded units, but the Eagle is an Inca yeah, Eagle, so it has an extra one melee armor, but it shouldn't matter because the Gulam should eat it. So I expect the Gulam to destroy the Arblast, die hard to the Paladin, uh, and destroy the Eagles, but I'm curious to see how it does against Champions and Ten Cannoneer. I'll show you guys uh, each uh, fight individually and we'll go ahead and talk things through. Uh, I should be shocked by a few uh, things, I'm sure. So anyways, this is 60 Arblast. Gonna use spread formation because that's like the way to play against it. You mitigate like the, the pass through damage, but I think it shouldn't matter much. So I'm gonna go ahead and run with the Ghulams at the, the Arblast. Uh, spread formation, go ahead patrol and just see what happens. Maybe I can be surprised, but I don't expect to be surprised here. Yeah, this is gonna be something uh, really crazy so the reason why this is like so like insane not because like it's a massacre like we all know that some units counter others and obviously Ghulam is a counter to archer unit but the crazy thing is that Hindustanis have this unit uh, Hindustanis have an amazing economy and they are a camel sieve meaning they usually counter cavalry sieves but all of a sudden they have a unit that will completely eat uh, archer sieves as well which is uh, quite quite uh, insane as you can see only 12 died out of 40 versus 60 arblas so 40 versus 60 and it's a massacre uh, next up though uh, time to get to see the, the gulam get massacred we're going to be up against 40 paladin i think oh, no it's not 40 paladin it's something less um and 30 paladins even 30 paladins so 10 less paladin but it's still going to be enough to, to take out the gulam against fed formations for both and let's just see what happens what happens uh, you guys can just come aside, and as you can see, it's an absolute massacre. But this time, it's the Gulam that's dying. Uh, <laughs> out of those paladins, only three left, uh, only three dead, and a few left injured. But as you can see, yeah, it's pretty dominant. So paladins clearly counter Gulam. The only issue I have with this though is that naturally, um, Hindustani have amazing camels. So usually, the camels will deal with paladin, and Gulam will kill everything else. But I will say, I think there's one composition you guys can use to counter Hindustani in total, and that's to go like Halberdier plus Paladin if they're on Camels. So if they're on Camel Ghulam, you can go Paladin Halbs, and I think the Paladin Halbs should be fine. I think that's going to be pretty pretty strong composition usually. Um, but yeah, otherwise, if the guy's just brainlessly spamming Ghulams, you can easily get to Paladin, and you probably don't even need Paladin. Like, probably Cavalier is enough, and I would even say Hissar is enough if you have enough farms going and you can just spam Hissar. Uh, yeah, cavalry in general does pretty well against a Ghulam. So cool. Uh, now let's take a look at another fight that they, sh they should win. And the, the last two I'm unsure about actually. So I, I mean, I, I expect them to lose versus the champions, but I just want to see what happens. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and take a look now at the Eagles. Spread formation as always. And Eagles is of course the mezzo uh, version of an archer counter. But the problem is the Ghulam gets an attack bonus against Eagles, which is really crazy. It was 40 versus 40, Inca Eagles by the way. Uh, and yeah, it was an absolute massacre. And so the, the only issue I have here is that like, if you're playing against any Mesosiv, and they have, the uh, Incas have Slingers, so they're, they're at least a little bit safe, but you know, what, what can you really do um, against a unit like this? Um, if you have archers and eagles like Mayans, you really don't have an answer to Ghulams, right? Um, you could, you know, you could say plumed archers might be pretty good, but if you're on Arblast, uh, it's not going to be that great. And even Plumes, I don't think, are that insane either. So Ghulam, pretty insane versus Mesosiv and, and completely destroys Eagles in large numbers. Uh, keep in mind, guys, this is only in large numbers, uh, or in like, pretty large numbers. In one-on-one -on -one fights, they're not that impressive. So keep that in mind. Ghulam, the strength are in numbers because of the pass-through damage. All right, 40, 40 versus 40 now. Um, uh, champion versus Ghulam, pretty even fight. I, I'd imagine the champions are going to win, but... I think it also could come down to like just how the pass through damage works out because you can see how they're spreading out so the pass through damage isn't that crazy and so for that reason I expect the champion to just dominate and yeah pretty much the case so yeah that, that was not as dominant as the paladin one like we still lost 22 or so champions but it's a fairly cost effective tact, uh, you know, way to counter ghulam and I think it's the best thing to do against uh, ghulam for an archer sieve 
that access the champions go for them but it's still not that insane like the champions are like pretty weak like if you do gulam plus hand cannoneer for example i feel like the champions would just completely get melted uh so it's not exactly the best comp or the best counter just because champion is in like is, is very counterable as a unit you know and lastly i'm actually interested to see how this one does because in theory hand cannoneer should counter in, like range units but i think that gulams are um fast enough that they can close the distance and completely dominate so let's take a look here hand cannoneer sand ground patrol towards it and let's see what happens against hand cannoneer so hand cannoneer will obviously get some massive damage at first but as soon as the gulam closes the gap i think it's going to be a bloodbath and of course i could have shown the slingers as well but i think it's going to be the same result in either case um the idea is that yeah as soon as gulam starts getting like the nice attacks it's just so impossible now the thing is, the hand cannoneer still traded pretty well, like a lot of the gulams got thinned out. And I think the big takeaway here is that when playing against the gulam, you need a buffer. So hand cannoneer is great, but imagine if you have just 10 hussars in front, the gulam can't really get close and you can easily pick them apart. So after seeing all these tests, honestly, I feel like the gulam is a really overpowered unit, but only if you don't respect it. Uh, I think if you respect it and you prepare and you, you make sure you have a counter unit on the field, it's really not that insane. Like, it's obviously a strong unit, but it's not, like, unplayable against, I feel. Um, there's definitely ways to, to stop this, this unit in general. And I guess my biggest tips, you know, for Gulam and against them, uh, for them would be to definitely make sure that you're trying to hit units that are clumped up or you catch them when he's running away. So if you overwhelm an army and catch him when he's running away, you're just going to get such insane value because when units run away, they tend to stack up together. And if Gulams get hits when they're stacking up together, you're going to melt his entire army like an onager shot. So uh, if I can even show you guys, like, for example, these champions, if you bunch them up and like you can like really bunch them up. Uh, so like if they're bunched up like this, right? And like units, when they're running away, sometimes there's a, fr a frame or two where they're like this. If you just randomly patrol their gulams and you get hits when they're like this, like let me just show you guys the damage it does. It's like completely ridiculous. Like you're literally shredding the army and it, yeah, they, they just completely melt, right? So um, obviously this is an extreme example of them completely sat still. But like I said, if you catch the army running away, you will get some hits that are getting massive passive damage and you really melt armies by just like surrounding them uh, as they're stacked up. So that's the absolute best tip when playing with the Gulam. Make sure to maximize your pass through damage and to try to surround uh, you know, armies. Uh, make sure you keep them as tight as possible uh, and try to take fights like that. And if you're playing against Gulam, it's the opposite tip pretty much. Just keep your army spread out. But I have another tip as well. Make sure that you have a buffer for your range units um, and you're also able to play from behind walls if possible because this unit's actually very squishy. It does have 8th Pierce Armor, but not a lot of HP. So even Arblast can do okay against Gulam as long as you have something in front of it and something to prevent the Gulam from hitting the Archer unit. Uh, Arblast is obviously not the greatest because uh, it doesn't have the high, you know, high damage and it also um, has very low mobility and HP. But something like a Plumed Archer, something like a Chukunu uh, can deal with this unit. But make sure, like I said, to always have a buffer because you can't risk your squishy archers getting hit by the path to damage. They will get completely melted. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I just want to talk a little bit about the Gulam. Let me know your guys' thoughts about this unit. I actually thought it was completely overpowered when it got released. But after the nerf, losing 10 HP is a big deal. And so I definitely feel like it's strong. But it, ha it is pretty counterable. And we all know just on the last ending scene how strong the Paladin are against it. And in general, just cavalry. Uh, they tend to deal with the Gulams pretty effectively. So Hussar, Champions... Probably the best counter overall on the top of my head, but some range units like Hand Cannoneer with a buffer or Heavy Cab Archers or any unique unit Archer unit can be pretty strong against them in some cases. Thanks for watching the video guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, peace, and see ya.